Hello, my name is Chris Mooney, and tonight I'm going to be talking to you about a poster I created for the El Tour de Tucson. And it is a bicycle race that has about 9,000 bicyclists that ride around the beautiful city of Tucson, Arizona. It's a 110 mile race. And this is the 30th anniversary of the 30th El Tour. And they came with this idea that they wanted to have a poster that would convey the spirit of the West rides on. So I came up with this concept, and once you come up with the concept, you have to make it a reality. So one way to do this is to get four bicyclists, the two horses, take them out in the desert, find a beautiful sunset, and then get a really, really big flag to fly over right when you take the photograph. Well, we all know that's not quite possible. So what I did is I photographed these bicyclists individually in my studio, one, two, three, four, and I couldn't get the horses in my studio. Um, that's my sister Beth, actually, they and her husband John, and they actually have horses. So I went out to their ranch, and I did take photographs of them in the corral. Now, the reason I would photograph them in my studio, the bicycles in my studio, just because the white background is much easier to cut them out. The horses were much more difficult because I had basically a desert scene behind them, so making the selections them was much more time consuming. But just for the purposes of this poster, I'm going to show you how I put this together and show you how I do these little details like the motion, um, maybe you get to the shadowing under the bicycles. But what we're going to do first, let's start with a new file here. And I'm going to put this in inches. And we have it uh, 5 and a half by 3 inches to 240. So we have a new file. Here's our blank canvas. Let's start with our background. I'm going to open, and we are going to get the Sabino Canyon shot. Open that, and here is our road with the desert, beautiful Sabino Canyon with the Catalina Mountains in the background. Now we want to add a little bit of a glow, and let me show you this real quick. We have, you notice that when I open this up, that this is already in its separate layer. I've knocked out the backdrop here. So I'm going to now select everything in here, edit, copy, and then bring it in and edit, paste. And now I have my background with the backdrop here. And now I can also I can move this around wherever I want it. So let's just kind of move. There we go, right about there. OK, so let's add our glow. To do that, I'm going to add a new level layer. And over here, go to New Layer. OK. I'm going to put that layer between behind the mountains here. And now I have picked out a color in my color picker. I have got this nice orange. And you can just go there and pick any color you want. I prefer to make it a little bit more red here. That looks a little better. I'm going to the gradient tool, which is the left hand, about midway down here. Click on the gradient tool, and I want my gradient to go from orange basically to opaque. You have many choices here, uh, orange to white, orange to opaque. Um, we want to go to orange to opaque, so we have making that choice there. Make it opaque, and now I can go to my gradient tool, and with my cursor, I can basically drag that and getting that little orange here in the background and that's my second layer there I have three layers now so I've got that orange there now let's bring in our flag uh, let's go to our flag here open that up and here's our flag image I'm going to select all edit copy and go to my file and just edit, now I'm going to paste it in there, right there. Okay. Now you'll notice that every time I paste something, a new layer comes up. So it's in the background. Um, I want it in front of the glow, the behind the glow, so I moved it down to the back there. Now I want to move it up a little higher so I can see the star more. Shoes. That's pretty pretty close. So let's brighten it up a little bit and go to image adjust. Um, 
let's just go to levels and I'll just um, bring up the contrast in it a little bit, make it a little brighter. There we go. Okay. So there, there we go. This is our, our basic background where we've got everything we need. Now we just need to bring in our bicyclists and our cowboys. So let's open it up. I've already, let's bring in the cowboys first. Let's open that file up. And I've already selected them from the background. Actually, it was two photographs that I put together. But to make things simplified here, I have them on a separate layer. And I'm going to just edit, select all, edit, copy, and go to my file, and edit, and paste. They're behind the mountains. That's pretty neat. But we don't want them there. So I'm going to bring them up front and they're a little bit big so I can go to image um, edit free transform I can hold my shift key let's make them about that size that seems about right for this okay we can move them around and we'll put them right about there for now Okay, we've got our horses in there. Now we add another layer, you see there. Now file, open, and we're going to bring our bicyclists in now. So our group of bicyclists, open. And here are our bicyclists. And select all, edit. And we'll select all. We'll select, oop, we had to make sure that layer is selected. Edit, select. all edit copy go to our file and edit and paste and now I can move my bicyclists right about here now they're much too big here so what we will do now is we will go to edit free transform and make them smaller do, 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 do. probably right about there go to my horse layer just because I'm here I'm going to take my eraser tool and just erase ha now this would take many hours of um, finazolin finazolin I'm just gonna get that kind of blend that in a little bit but I'm just going to just for our purposes here I'll just just fix it up a little bit for them. okay so now we notice we want to get the motion in the bicyclists here so I have a bicyclist layer, and if you click off, they go away, and I click them on. And I'm going to duplicate this layer. Go to Layer, Duplicate Layer, OK. And I'm going to go to the layer behind it, and I'm going to do a nifty little thing, Motion Blur. There we go, Blur, Motion Blur. And I'm going to make the distance about 45. Yeah, that's about good. Click OK. And I can move, let's make it a little bit closer up so you can see. And I'm going to move that blur. See the blur? That's the layer that's behind them. I've just blurred those bicyclists out. And I can move that and make it as long as I want. That's about, about right. There we go. We've got some blur going on here in the shirt. And I'm going to do one more layer and put some shadows in here new layer and get my brush change my foreground color to black and we're just going to go and let's put a little bit of airbrushing in here and just probably my opacity about 25 percent and we're going to add a little bit of shadows in here and just put that now I've always put on a layer because finesse this a little bit but because you can change that opacity layer and make those shadows pretty much go away or a little bit more you can add a little bit more and there you go. okay so now we have this all in layers here we and that is pretty much how we have bicyclists cowboys sunsets everything together here to create 
the spirit of the West rides on. Hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, the devil's in the details, really. It's probably, this image probably took me about 30 hours from photography to all the Photoshop I did on it. So this is kind of quick, but at least you know how it was put together now. Thank you for joining me.